is RKP back with another video. Now today we're doing something different. Uh, this is actually kind of like appreciation video for 40 subscribers. Um, I'm going to do another video in honor of the 40 subscribers um, special. Uh, I'll be doing a 1v1 versus my sister Ava. So stay tuned for that. But for now we're doing a Q&A. Um, it's more um, related to basketball questions, and they're like about like seven or more questions. Um, I'll try to get a little longer as if I explain questions, so it's it's not that much of a short video. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so who's your favorite NBA player? Um, currently, um, I would go with Paul George. Um, Paul George. DeMar DeRozan and Jimmy Butler. Now, those three are someone that I have uh, three players currently that I am um, very, um, they're my role models, and Kawhi Leonard as well, Gordon Hayward, all those positions, really. But um, which one that stands out, I would go with, um, I would go with um, Paul George because the guy has been, he knows how to win games. And I think he's just the better player. Even though, I mean, DeRozan, he's been actually doing better. But um, I would have picked Jimmy Butler, but after the All-Star break, he kind of was in a slump. But then in the playoffs, he did pretty good. So it's a very tough comp tough competition. So I'm not, I, I can't answer that question. But just know it's like around Kawhi Leonard, Gordon Hayward, um, DeMar DeRozan, Paul George, and Jimmy Butler. Okay, so the second question is, who do you think will win each NBA award? Like the Defensive Player of the Year, MVP. Now, I'm not going to do the Sportsmanship Year um, award because I don't even, like I remember Tim Duncan won that award, but I don't really, really care about that. So for MVP, I'm going with Russell Westbrook because besides winning, if, if winning has to do with the competition, I would go with James Harden. But Westbrook has been um, amazing. I mean, averaging a triple double and um, you know having the most triple doubles in the season—that's amazing. So I'll go with him as the MVP. But I don't watch a lot of OKC Thunder um, games because I just, yeah, I just don't watch a lot of OKC basketball. Okay, so for. Um, Defensive Player of the Year. Um, I was about. To, I want Giannis to win, but I feel by the stats of Draymond Green, I'm gonna go with him. He'll be my the Defensive Player of the Year. But I'll be very happy if Giannis wins. I love. Him. So I saw him in the playoffs. To be honest, that series against the Raptors was not the best, but the guy was on fire. So okay, next one most improved. I. Um, I think this is like this. Um, my pick is way different from like NBA's um, prediction because of the um, because like the nominees are like what Jabari Parker, um, Seth Curry. I think it's actually Dion Waiters who deserves it because the guy has been amazing. He's beaten the Cavs. Like he's actually like really been good. The guy knows how to win. Knows he he knows how to play. He's been improving, so I'm going with Deion Waiters on this one. Like actually, hands down, Deion Waiters deserves this. Okay, um, most improved. No, I already did that. Um, six man of the year. There's not a lot of um effectors in in the six man. I mean, obviously Jamal, but they're not gonna go with him every single time. I think Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon is my pick. I know Lou Williams with Los Angeles. He's been, he averaged like 18 points a game. But Eric Gordon um, is my pick because the guy just knows how to shoot. And he's a good leader. So I'm going with Eric Gordon. Second would probably be Lou Williams because Jamal Crawford has won multiple. And he, that's just not how NBA works around here. So, um... Coach of the year, I think it will be either Eric Spolstra or Mike D'Antoni. Um, Mike D'Antoni 
is like change the the NBA into like with three pointers. And I know that I mean I don't like I don't shoot a lot of threes, but um he's kind of made Houston a great team and um the, like they only had James Harden and like the rest are just like never to be known as an all star so. That's pretty impressive to go all the way just with one star. And just so you know, this is not my phone. So it has a cheetah print. So this is not my phone. This is my mom's. But um, so I'm just reading the questions. So um, I think I got, I covered all of them. Oh yeah, rookie of the year. I'm going to go with. See, this not this draft class was probably one of the weakest, or if not the weakest draft class so far in NBA history. But um, I'm going with Marcus. I mean, Michael Brogdon. Uh, I don't watch a lot of Milwaukee Bucks basketball, so I really don't really I don't watch him. But I've heard that he's been doing good. So if he's doing good, then he's the one. I know I would have picked Joel Embiid, but they said like he might not be eligible because he hasn't played enough games. So I'll cross that off my list, even though I really want Joel Embiid to win. Trust the process. Okay, um, what shoe do you play with? Um, now I don't have a lot of shoes. I'm not a big shoe collector because I haven't played a lot. I don't play. I didn't play a lot of basketball until like three years ago. Um, I only have like one good shoe so far that I really like using in basketball and that would be the Jordan Ultrafly um, shoe that is like a really good shoe but I'm going to probably get um, a new shoe by the end of the summer and I feel like that will be a better difference maker but for right now I would go with um, the Jordan Ultrafly. Okay. What position do I play? <clears throat> Sorry, my, my voice. But the position I play, oh, oh, just realized that I have my shirt backwards. But um, the position I play is shooting guard. Um, I used to play power forward and and center for just for defensive, defense wise. But um, I'm playing shooting guard. And that's why. Um, DeMar DeRozan, Paul George, and um, Jimmy Butler are my role models because I want to be as good as them if I'm going to be a shooting guard. And I'm not really as tall. I'm like pretty kind of short. I'm not really that short, but I'm like either average or maybe a little below average of a height. But uh, yeah, my, my parents said I'm growing, so that's a good sign, I guess. Okay, who is your favorite player of all time? Now, um, I really like, I mean, I like Michael Jordan because, I mean, he's another shooting guard, Kobe Bryant. But I would go with Dwayne Wade because I like his game. I like how, just, what he, he does. Those three guys are just, like, my three favorites. Um, Allen Iverson, I just haven't seen a lot of him. I don't, like... Like, I don't like, I mean, I'm not a fan of Allen Iverson because I just don't watch him a lot. And I've seen Michael Jordan's highlights and I kind of kind of convinced on him. But Allen Iverson used to be my, one of my favorites. But right now, I would have to go with probably um, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, or Dwayne Wade. So I just don't have an official number one pick. But, you know. You know. Okay, um, what is... Okay, who won the trade between Chicago and Minnesota? Uh, as you know, yesterday that happened where Jimmy Butler was received at, in uh, Minnesota for like Zach Levine and uh, Chris Dunn and someone else. And I think obviously Minnesota, I mean, Minnesota won that pick. I mean, I know Zach Levine is doing amazing. Had the, his best season so far, like 20.7 points per game. But the thing is about him is he tore his ACL, so I don't know if he's going to be back for the next season. So you'd rather have a healthy player than an injured player. And plus, I mean, Jimmy Butler has been amazing this season. Probably the best season he's had 
his whole career. So having him with Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns, with um, Ricky Rubio probably passing it to him a lot, it would be a pretty good, um, pretty good thing, pretty good duo and everything. Um, who won the trade between uh, Atlanta and Charlotte? I think. Um, no one. I mean, I don't honestly. Like, who even knows Miles Plumley and every one of those people? Who, oh. uh, who else was traded? Miles Plumley. I don't know who else. I forgot. It's like a, another pick, I think. But um, I think Charlotte kind of won. I know. I mean, sure, Dwight Howard's a better player. But Dwight Howard seems like one of those guys who doesn't really want to play basketball anymore, but he kind of has to because he's pretty, still pretty young. Um, sorry about the background noise, but um, what is a um? Oh yeah, so I think, but um, I think that Dwight Howard and Kemba Walker would be a good duo. But um, Dwight Howard isn't that kind of player who wants to play basketball anymore, it seems. But um, I'm gonna go with um, Charlotte because I don't even know who. No, I'm sure I really traded for him. I think it was like Miles Plumley and someone else. Okay, so the last question is what sh is the shoe that you're planning to get? Um, the shoe I'm planning to get would be, um, I'm either going for the, those Paul George shoes, PG1s, or these, like, I'm going for like the Hyper Dunks. I don't know. I'm not going for a Jordan shoe. I don't know. Um, I still don't. I have to go to the mall and see what I'm really interested in. But so far, I have a kind of a list, but I don't know yet. I gotta like uh, um, see. First of all, I have to see if they're good um, shoes, good ratings, and everything like that. But yeah, so that those are the shoes that I'm planning to get that that are probably in my head right now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I we're done with the Q and A. Um, just remember, 100 subscribers, I'll be doing another Q&A, so submit some questions in the comments section, that would be much appreciated. Um, try not to, like, if you see a question that has been said, you don't, please, try not to, like, get another question, I mean, have the same question, because then it would just be, uh, I don't, I don't want to skip you guys, but, um, so yeah, uh, that was our Q, my Q&A, um, just also remember to stay tuned for the um, special that I'm going to be doing for a 1v1 against my sister, Ava. So, yeah. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next basketball video.